Hi folks, Tim here from High End Cheap Tech, and tonight we're going to do a basically our final review on this puppy right here. This is the Artec. And you're going to see a lot of reflection there. Uh, we're going to hit the. I got it because it has a caps lock button, which you'll see lights up. The screen also lights up, and I've chosen the green backlit color because it seems to be the best at night. It's easy on the eyes. Um, there's a couple of things I'm going to need to go with it. That's a little USB rechargeable vacuum. If anyone has a suggestion, or if any of those manufacturers out there would love me to test one, I'd be happy to. I don't want to get a bunch of crud in there and the key travels fairly short. It works perfect. It lights up, stays lit. The only problems I found were with the whole charging scenario. And I'll explain that in the upcoming video. Which are, we're going to shoot on an old friend that has returned. I've shot hundreds of videos with this uh, particular smartphone. It has an excellent LED and a good microphone. So, all that being said, we'll be back right after the intro. And then I have to wait three hours for the damn thing to charge up because I let it get to zero percent. But you're not going to notice that. We'll be right back. Okay, folks, so we've uh, brought this uh, older phone back in to do our recording on. And as you can see, here's our Artec after, uh, I don't know, a week, week and a half of use. And the reason I bought it, right up there, you can see the caps lock light up. And uh, it's got a fairly long lifespan on the uh, um, battery. I'm not sure how long. It's a little hard to test. I've settled. You can't see it here because we got it lit up brighter than a... Uh, well, we got it lit up real bright. Let's just put it that way. But I've gone with the green color. The color that you choose can be changed just by simply hitting the function and then the alt on the up or down keys. Now the only problem I've seen with this, let's see, we're going to go ahead and plug her in and get her charging. We don't need to. I charged it yesterday. So, but Let's just do this anywho. I can figure out how to get it plugged in. All right, now this is coming through a one amp connection to the PC. And as you'll see, we have a red light right up here. Now, supposedly that'll go out when it's fully charged. Fact of the matter is it never goes out. It just switches over to be in a green light. So I sent Artec a message asking them about that. And uh, their response, they seem more concerned about me not putting a link into something than, you know, they were like, oh yeah, we'll fix that. Uh, I'm thinking once it goes green, you're good. Uh, I'm not sure if that's the case it's never gone more than like an hour hour and a half after four or five days of use I use the screen light up feature all the time and I usually use the control key over here and that lights everything up now you can see the green 
right down in here. And it's very well backlit in the dark. I guess I could unhook the microphone here and I'm gonna do that. Then we're gonna turn off some of the lights in here and try. We're gonna try to get you some more realistic video. Okay, there you go. Now you get a really good representation of how the keyboard will look. Now that's the green color. They have or they have like seven colors you can cycle through. Um, I bounce between the blue and the green. The green seems to be the easiest to read. The only thing I can't be a hundred percent sure on is that charging thing. Put it this way: what it says in the owner's manual. That light is not ever going to turn off. I've even plugged it into a 2 amp charger. It says you can use it with a 2 amp charger. Uh, although I found that rather confusing because like my MPOW headphones tell you specifically only use and they're only less than 40 milliamp hours less battery but if the company says you can do it one way then we go with what the company says so what's my final take on this thing it's worth every damn penny folks uh, but to unlock it your easiest way is just hit the caps button or the control button and then nothing will happen. Now, this thing will pair right up uh, limitations. It will pair up as a USB 3.0 keyboard. Now, like your headphones or like my Unsangle 3 right back here. Uh, once they've been paired up with something, they'll remember who they're paired up to. This thing pretty much will pair up to one device and then the next time you come back to like say you take it to work and use it with your tablet and then you come back and you're using it with your you know Windows 10 PC which is right over there by the way uh, you're going to need to remove the device and repair it and then you'll be okay it i think it doesn't have the memory to store multiple pairings a lot of devices can pair up to 10 different 20 different devices and they don't care but considering the price considering the convenience of having a backlit bluetooth 3.0 keyboard oh no it's only 3.0 Folks, it's only a couple of feet between the keyboard and the uh, device. You, you're not playing music on it. You're not walking away from it. And how often are you going to want to sit and type where you can't see what the hell you're typing? You're not. So... As usual, uh, let me know what you think. Read the description below for the links to this device. And of course, if you found this in any way useful, helpful, entertaining, or you didn't like it, either give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down. And leave some feedback in the comments below and if this is your first time here subscribe for more content like this and if you want to see something let me know we're going to be getting cable in here shortly which means we're going to be making way more videos and pumping stuff up and then hopefully that will help us get 
more subscribers so we can get way more stuff out and uh, have a little income because right now this is a zero dollar operation everything you see in the picture on the screen this device this device this device and that one and the wireless charger behind it I use every day the Unitangle 3 the Zotac CI323 which we'll be editing on I normally buy stuff I use the lavalier mic I had sent to me but if you'd like to donate to the site check out the donation link we'll take a dollar anyone who's donated before is absolutely forbidden from helping us uh but mostly we'd rather have subscribers and click the little bell icon thanks for watching i am out of here